Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Asmagon and let's get right into today's topic. This won't or shouldn't be a long video, I don't think. Um, I do think I'm going to have a take that not a lot of people are going to be happy with. Editing Asmo here. I uh, just want to let you guys know I just, while editing my video, I was listening and watching to Arch's video covering this. And um, if you're wondering why I don't bring up some of the stuff he does, such as the... Uh, such as the doxing done by that Wolfric guy, the cuckold, uh, the proud cuckold on Twitter. I uh, I didn't know about that stuff when I recorded, did the recording, um, and I'm not going to include it now or do redo the recording, uh, mainly because it is related to the pro FSM crowd, but the video is on specifically this screenshot taken by Combat Wombat, so. I, I, I do want to keep it the video focused on that and not go... Because I've already, at nauseum gone into the debaucherous and horrendous nature of the people within the FS FSM crowd. I've talked about how they call uh, biological women breeders. I've, I've talked about how they completely ignore any and all conversations in regards to existing female factions and characters, all in favor of hyper-focusing on taking the one all-male faction and trying to shift it into a, uh, a, a homogenous group instead for no apparent reason or necessity or really, really anything good. So, yeah, that's why I don't bring up, like, the doxing and stuff like that and the horrible actions the uh, FSM crowd are doing because, to be quite frank, I've talked about it in the past and this video is specifically on the screenshot. So, anyway, that's it from uh, Editing Asmo. Back to the video. Um, but hopefully you guys understand where I'm coming from, and if you don't, of course, I will respond to comments as I try to do every time. Now, uh, a recent screenshot was released by Combat Wombat, uh, well, that's what he's called on Twitter, but on YouTube, this is Wheezy Pillar, who I've actually spoken to previously, as he himself said in response to my reply to his tweet. Uh, we spoke on one of my open mics, which was a very good conversation, I do think, and, uh, I will link the one specifically, I think it was, I'll have to double check, but I don't know if I have the time to search through the, uh, all the open mics where I address female space marines, or the female space marine debate, so I will I will link the one, I think most likely the one I had him on, and uh, keep in mind the open mics that I do, it, I don't invite specific people on, of course I you know always hope my own community show up for the regular shows, but... Uh, in this case, Weezy Pillar uh, came on as just one of the open mic guests that come on through the link and just speak their mind, which I always love to see. So if you guys see an open mic from me, uh, the usually live streams, always uh, happy to have new callers and new people come in and give their takes, even if you don't agree with me, and sometimes especially if you don't agree with me. But anyway, enough shilling my own stuff and doing any kind of precursory st uh, warnings. So recently... Uh, a screenshot was released from the upcoming CRPG, Rogue Trader. Uh, it's currently in beta test, I believe. Beta or alpha test. And uh, this is a line from a Space Wolf Astartes, or Space Wolf Space Marine, in the game, named Ulfar. Uh, I'll read it just verbatim. The wolf laughs condescendingly. There are never women among the Astartes. The old father was a man. Rush was a man, and all of us, his warriors, are men. The old father's gene seed will not take root in a female body. Now, of course, if you've been a fan, a, a genuine fan of 40k for even more than five minutes, you will have read the little tidbit of lore that says that female bodies cannot act as a foundation for a Astartes. Uh, it's been attempted in the past. And it has always failed, oftentimes to gruesome effect. It's part of the grimdark flavoring of the universe that, you know, and there's a lack of equality with things because that's a grimdark setting. If everyone could be these big super badass soldiers, then it would be uh, a little bit more of a utopian setting, not a dystopian, depressing grimdark setting. So segregation or things just not being designed for everyone and things not being all inclusive is a theme within a grimdark setting. It, it makes no sense for a setting like this to be a happy place for really anybody. But that thematicness aside, it's been consistent lore since the very beginning that Space Marines could only be male. And oftentimes the pro FSM or female Space Marine crowd will point to Rogue Trader. Rogue Trader doesn't count. Even by GW's own standard, it was not 40k. It was a prototype to 40k. True 40k started in 2nd edition and the lore 
really ramped up with the release of the novelizations of the Horus Heresy and similar books. But uh, again, kind of focusing on this, in, in the game, the uh, character Ulfar yet again repeats the canon lore as we've known it, and this should be no surprise to anybody. Now, this is where I think I'm going to lose some of you. A, a lot of folks are saying, like, hey, yeah, this is awesome. S see, like, hey, more further, you know, confirmation. For me, my response is, is as this. And I'll even read my tweet verbatim and explain myself in more detail, because tweets be tweets. Oh, look, the most consistent piece of lore, which has been reaffirmed for literal decades, has yet again, after having already been so thousands of times, been confirmed. Color me shocked. Laffy face. Sadly, this won't shut up the FSM tourists. They're psychotic. Now, uh, again, that's the point I really want to focus on, that last line, and I stand by that. As cool as it is for real canon lore to be respected in a video game, especially a CRPG set in the setting. Unfortunately, I, I, not that I want to deflate people too much on this, but this is a video game licensed from GW. It's not made by GW. Realistically speaking, the devs are just repeating canon lore in dialogue. It's not like this is yet again another statement from GW. Now, GW themselves have pretty much come out consistently repeating the lore tidbit that female space marines be what they... But, but the point is, it's this is not really a factor in the, in the debate that we've been having. The pointless debate, mind you. Uh, it's, at best, kind of cool for the game to be accurate... But in, but in terms of the conversations that are having around this screenshot, they're not talking about how this like makes people more eager to play the game because of its lore accuracy. The conversation seems to be more around, well, we'll see, we have even further proof that w what we've been right about, we're still right about. Which is strange to me, because this really doesn't add or remove from our side of the, of the debate. And again, it's not even really a debate. It's one side screaming that they want things to change for no good reason, and the rest of us saying, well, we like it the way it is, don't see why it needs to change, and you have options right now. And even if you want female space marines, you can have all the ones you want. Homebrew, paint your minis however you want, even do little kit bashes and put female heads on them. By all means, no one's gonna give a damn, and people will still play you the same, as long as you don't invent weird Mary Sue, like, data sheets. People will be happy to play you at tournaments and the like. But it's just not gonna be canon. And it shouldn't be canon, because it doesn't add anything. It doesn't improve the universe. It, it doesn't do anything. If any, the most it does is harm to the setting. It makes it less grimdark, because now what was a very exclusive, tragic thing for young men to be put through in the universe, now both young men and women are put through it, as opposed to women having their own unique struggles in the setting. There's, there's, all, there's a lot of weird desires to hurt the setting with this inclusion from the female space marine crowd. It's, it's, the, the mentality I just can't understand. It's, a, it, it's, again, trying to make a utopia out of a grimdark dystopia. You, you have to be a tourist to want that change. Because it robs some of the severity and the darkness of the setting. So, for me, I almost never understand it. But again, kind of circling back. This screenshot is kind of a null point. And I, I don't want to take the wind out of people's sails. Again, it's just... I'm in this weird position where I feel like I'm telling kids there's no Santa Claus right now. And so it's like, yeah, this is cool, but it doesn't do anything. I mean, by all means, it makes me want to play the game. I was going to actually not play it uh, until this screenshot, personally. So there's that upside. And again, the conversation about the game seeming more attractive because it seems lore accurate sounds great to me. But that's not the conversation I'm, I see being had. The conversation I see being had is this is somehow further proof than the rule book that we all have. <laughs> I feel like that's far more definitive and accurate to use for a piece of evidence than a screenshot from a video game. I don't know. I Like I said, I don't think I'll get a lot of love for this video because um, both crowds are going to hate me and come at me on this one because the crowd that really want to use this as another stepping stone for the debate, I'm telling them they can't because it doesn't really play a factor. And to the crowd that are, you know, pro-FSM, they're seeing me 
support canon lore, and therefore I am the enemy. So that's that. The, I'm gonna get hit by two sides, but I can't sit here and lie and like act like this is an additional, you know, step being added to the uh, to the uh, great mythological staircase to victory. It's a moot point, really. It, it's just, yeah. I, again, I think it's great that the game's accurate and 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 repeating lore that we know to be the truth. I think it's really cool that people see this and are feeling enthused about the game now, whereas before, if they were like myself, they were worried that the uh, creators were going to take a lot of liberties with the game. But, again, FSM debate, it's a non-factor, personally. Anyway, I just want to be honest about that and straightforward. I don't want to come off as a centrist of the debate, because I'm not. I, I'm firmly on the pro lore side uh, pro lore and pro accuracy to lore uh side of the conversation like uh, fully you anyone who knows my channel and has seen my conversations and open mics and debates around the fsm conversation knows how i feel about it but i just yeah i i said my piece at this point i have repeated myself multiple times but i really wanted to reinforce you know my side of things and again really strong credit to combat wombat for sharing it and I'm glad he's so enthused about the game and so enthused about the accuracy. And I, I'm, I'm glad a lot of people seem to also be, you know, enthused by this to check it out. Because it's, now it's implying lore accuracy, so it makes it more attractive. Yeah. But, anyway, that's it for me, guys. Uh, hope this video is taken well, but I understand if people don't like the way I'm covering this bit. Well, we'll see. We'll see, I suppose. Um, of course, I will try and clear up any ambiguity or misunderstanding with what I've said in this video in the comment section below. At least I'll try my best. Otherwise, you know, hope you leave a comment saying you love the video, you enjoy the uh, the graphics I always have here, and uh, you are enjoying the content. And I know the uploads have been sparse lately. I'm working on some stuff in the background. Hopefully, get that done soon so I can get more uploads and also do some more open mics. Uh, yeah, that's it for me. See you guys later. Bye bye. Comment section is gonna be fun.